Okay. Hey guys. Today I'm going to be doing another tutorial. This one is how to install the Lion King mod for Minecraft 1.5.2 Mac. Um, I think that this method works um, for any uh, version of Minecraft, but I have 1.5.2 when it works. So I'm going to... So I'm just going to say that it's um, 1.5.2. So I'm going to show you how to install the... Uh, it's a certain type of Minecraft Forge and the Lion King mod. Um, those are the two things you need to install it. So first I'm going to show you how to install the Lion King mod. So, well actually, go back. Um... Um, so it'll actually bring you here when you click on the link I'm going to put in, but, um, you scroll down and you hit download the Lion King mod V1.11.2 or whatever it says. It doesn't really matter. Then it's going to bring you to AD fly. Wait five seconds and click skip ad. Then it's going to take you to file dropper. When you're at file dropper, you're going to scroll down and click download this file and you're just going to type in whatever it says above the little search thing. So you, I'm going to type in DTHU. And now as you may see it's downloading right down there. Um so show and find it. Um and it's still downloading, but Okay, now it's done. So, show and finder. Now it's right here. So, I'm gonna get out of this just for a second. Um, and, uh, you can either double click it or hit open with archive utility. Doesn't really matter. And then it'll give you a folder. And this part is very important. It'll say, it, I don't know what it's gonna say. Um, multiple different versions it'll be named differently but it doesn't matter what it is before you have to name it lion king capital king mod you have to name it that or else it won't work so that's a very important step then this is how to install the certain minecraft forge you need so this is the minecraft forge download um, depending on what uh, what's it called, version you have, you click on whatever, but I have 1.5.2, so I'm going to click on 1.5.2, universal, it has to be universal, it doesn't matter what version you pick, it has to, obviously it has to match your version, but it always has to be universal or else it won't work. S skip ad. Sorry, my computer is really slow. There it is. Okay. So that's all you need with. Oh, wait, actually, no, I lied. I gotta go back into the show and finder. That's all you need with, um, with the. What's it called? With the. With your, um, internet browser. So, yeah, that's it with that. And then you wanna go to your finder. And you want to do library application support Minecraft. Um, then you want how um should go into bin, and then um you won't have this folder. You'll and your Minecraft dot jar won't like you won't have your Minecraft dot jar as a folder. You'll have it as a little coffee cup. But so it'll look like this. But it won't say Jimput dot jar. It'll say Minecraft dot jar. And you want to change it to minecraft.jar.zip. And then, oops. And what you then need to do is double click it or open with archive, surely. It doesn't matter. See? Like this. Mm. And it'll turn into this. I already have Minecraft editor, so I don't need it. Actually, yeah, I do need it because I'm going to show you how to install. So I'm going to just change this to minecraft.jar2. And name this Minecraft dot jar. Okay. Now you want to go into Minecraft dot jar. You'll have all these folders. You want to open up Minecraft Forge. 
copy everything in there. Then, um, uh, copy 263 items. Then, get rid of that. Actually, oops. You can exit out of that. And you go here, paste items. Apply to all, replace. And it'll copy every item to the thing. Now, this is a very important step. You need to um, hit option and type in MM. You have to delete meta inf, or else Minecraft will just crash. So, yeah. Then, this is the final step. You need to go into your. Oh, sorry. What you're going to need to do is I already have all the folders, but after you do the Minecraft Forge thing, you're going to have to um, log into Minecraft again. I'll just do it to show you. Um. And it'll say, see, it'll say FML is setting up your Minecraft environment. Um, and it's going to take a little bit while longer to load than it normally does because um, you're getting a mod. So just let it load. It'll take a little while, but it should be. Oh, there it is. Okay. So now you'll see um, you'll have a new folder called mods. And you won't have. Oh. Um, I, um, have the Lion King mod already, but you won't have that. You're gonna have Minecraft Forge, Minecraft Mod Loader, and Minecraft Coder Pack. So then you can click Done, get out of Minecraft. But here, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna, so then you wanna go into Mods. And I already have the Lion King mod, I'll delete it. But you just wanna drag in the Lion King mod right in there. And then, you just saw the transition, you just saw I changed it, so I'm getting the mod again, originally. Log in. So it's loading. Okay, now mods, the Lion King mod, yay. Um, just to show you that it works, I'll go to library. I'm oh, sorry, not library, duh, I'm still in the finder. Um, single player, Wahoo, that's just the name of my world. Then play selected world. Okay, now see, I have a. I was playing on this world earlier, but I have a spawn termite queen and a spawn flamingo. But so there's the termite queen. The termite queen is huge. Um, but then it's kind of scary looking. But um, if you hit B to go to your inventory, see you'll see it'll have the regular one, and then if you click this, it'll say it'll have the Lion King um items. These are all the Lion King items, and then this is the original. So um, yeah. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Um, hope this helped you.